Hey everyone, Ben's95 here uh, with another record collection video uh, and this one I'm going to be covering the letter S. Uh, so this one is going to be another two-parter. Um, basically I'm going to be covering in both videos about eight records uh, in total. So because that's how many records I have uh, co in a covering the, the letter S. So anyway, let's begin the video. First record. Saxon, Strong Arm of the Law. And this one features the song uh, Heavy Metal Thunder. I uh, don't know too much about Saxon. Uh, I know, all I know is that they were, you know, a major influence to many... Uh, you know, 80s metal bands uh, in the 1980s. You know, that including Metallica and I guess countless others. But yeah, um, this is a really cool album. And then we've got a couple Simple Minds records here. We've got New Gold Dream. 8. 81, 82, 83, 84. And this one features uh, someone, somewhere, some... Or someone, somewhere, uh, somewhere in someone... Summertime. That's a mouthful. Uh, uh, Promised You a Miracle. Uh, Glittering Prize. Yeah, this is a... Uh, a really good album. Uh, it's not really good, actually. It's great. This is a great album. You know, um, lots of great new wave, post-punk sounding uh, songs. You know, Simple Minds are just one of those bands that just they're 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 just one of those. Uh, um, they're one of the finest new wave uh, new wave bands in the nineteen eighties. They're one of the finest 80s bands, you know. So, yeah. And then, uh... And then I have uh, Simple Minds, Sparkle in the Rain. And this one is, uh, a little different, uh, than the other one. This one's a little bit more rock-oriented. Um, they kind of stripped away their, um, or not maybe stripped away, but they kind of broke free of their, you know, new wave, uh, you know, sound. And they kind of became more of a, like an, an arena rock type sounding band, like U2. Um, you know, their songs were more just, I guess, uh, stronger in, in some way, I guess, if you want to put it that way. And, uh, you know, just really good stuff. Uh, this one features... Uh, up on the Catwalk, uh, Book of Brilliant Things, Speed Your Love to Me, Waterfront, um, you know, my favorite song on here is actually, well, I like them all, really, uh, well, most of them, I like most of them uh, more than the others, but uh, one that I actually quite like more, uh, I guess is uh, See Moon Cry Like a Baby, I don't know. But yeah, it's a good, uh, it's a, it's a really, really, really good album. You can't go wrong with Simple Minds. They're just, uh, they're just really good bands. And then I got, uh, a couple records from Simply Red. This is, uh, Picture Book. And this one features, uh, you know, Come to my aid. Uh, uh, money's too tight to mention, and holding back the years, which is uh, quite possibly one of their biggest hits. Um, and my favorite song on here, uh, I guess, other than holding back the years, is uh, um, "Look at You Now." That song is just so catchy. You know, it's ridiculous. So yeah, this this is a really good album. And then uh, 
there's uh, men and women. And this is probably one of the most cheesiest covers I've ever seen. Um, it's quite weird. But, you know, uh, I kind of, you know, look beyond what the cover is and I just uh, let the music do the talking. So, the music, you know, is, it's, it's, it's good, you know, it's not as good as, you know, the other album, it's not as good as Picture Book, but still, it's got some good music on it, um, you know, The Right Thing, and, you know, Infidelity, um, you know, Shine, Maybe Someday, is a great, uh, great song to close the album, yeah, there's, it's really good stuff, you know, you know, they're a really good, uh, you know, Blue-Eyed Soul, you know, pop rock band, um, yeah, so, Simply Red, and then, uh, got a couple records from this band, uh, out of New Jersey called, uh, The Smithereens, and this is especially for you, uh, now Smithereens are quite possibly one of the best bands, one of, probably one of the most underrated bands, uh, to ever come out of the 1980s, you know, uh, because of their sound, you know, they sound so much like a, uh, just like a, they're very much like just the traditional rock band, you know, but you know, they have like a, you know, a flair for, you know, kind of, uh, getting, giving that throwback feel of, uh, you know, the Beatles and, you know, Buddy Holly and all those, you know, 60s bands and artists, you know, so, yeah, they have a very strong, uh, you know, rock sound, and, you know, it's just really good, good stuff, you know. Um, this album features, uh, I think their most well-known songs on this are uh, Behind the Wall of Sleep and Blood and Roses. Uh, but yeah, there's, there's lots of really good songs. I couldn't really tell you exactly which one I like the most, because they're all great. So, yeah, really, really good album. And then this is one, this one is my favorite by them, the Green Thoughts. Uh, you know, this one features uh, another really good song uh, on here, Only, Only a Memory, and uh, also features some some other some other great songs like well you know what it's just more of the same great stuff you know because again I couldn't tell you which song I liked the most uh, you know from the other because they're all great because this is just such a great album I really dig this album so much like you know this is one of my favorite records so this is like a five star for me um, what I don't understand is that this album features the song especially for you, but that usually happens on records, I guess, rarely though, uh, where people have uh, the name of an album, their previous albums, you know, the title of something, and then, you know, the next album features the, the, the title of a song, and it's actually the title of a song that was, uh, or the title of their previous album name, or whatever. But anyways, uh, that's not the most important thing on this record. Uh, the most important thing is that this album rocks, and it's so good, you know, great college rock sounding record, I guess, you know, kind of in the vein of R.E.M. in some way, but yeah, good stuff. And finally, I have this record by Split Ends. Now, this is a, uh, this album's called, uh, Second Thoughts. And for those of you who know who Split Ends is, they were a band, they were a band, uh, they were a band from New Zealand. And, um, they consisted of, uh, um, about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven group, uh, seven guys, um, who played a very eclectic, well, not eclectic. It was, uh, you know, art rock 
oriented uh, progressive rock type song song you know which is actually quite surprising is that they were progressive rock because I never would have expected this this band to be a progressive rock group judging from the way that they look but still uh, they sound so good you know they're art rock I guess you can you can kind of label them in that that category but still they're also labeled as progressive rock and this is their second album produced by uh, Phil Manzan Manzaneric um, or Manz sorry Manzanera uh, right here pictured right here who was in a, featured who's uh, who was um, sorry uh, who was uh, in the band um, Roxy Music and um, yeah I haven't listened to this yet but uh, yeah this is an import uh, from New Zealand actually so this is really cool I'm, I'm really glad I have this album you know because out here in, in you know Canada or the North America whatever uh, you'd only get like the um, a copy that was released uh, that's a little different you know basically the um, the copy of this record would technically borrow the uh, you know the cover of their first album which was mental called mental notes and kind of changed the cover a bit so uh, but still I'm really glad that I have this album you know uh, it's got some really good songs on it um, including Late Last Night. Late Last Night is a really good tune. Lovey Dovey is such a wacky tune, but still it's really good stuff. You know, I really enjoy the quirkiness of this band. Of course, this band went on to become more of a, a new wave uh, band, you know. Um, band members left, and only a few remained, including uh, this guy right here. This is uh, Tim Finn. His brother Neil joined the band uh, around, I think, 1977. And, uh, yeah, basically they had some success then, then on, and they broke up in 1984. His brother Neil went on to join, or uh, went on to form the group Crowded House. And, uh, yeah, they, they, you know, reformed uh, to do some reunions and stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, but they'll forever be one of the most underrated bands, you know. They're a really good band, you know. So for whoever is not, you know, check, uh, checked out any stuff from Split Ends, they have to, because they're, they're really good. So, yeah. Uh, that'll do it for part two, or sorry, part one. And uh, I'll be back with part two um, soon. So uh, I apologize if I was, you know, kind of being a little rushed uh, with the way that I was... Um, you know, kind of describe my uh, records, but again, you know, I try to make my videos as quick as possible. I don't want to kind of run off time, you know, making long uh, videos where I'm rambling on and stuff. So, um, anyways, uh, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, you, know, you know, let me know what you think. And um, as always, take care, and uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.